So welcome to this video and when we were coming back from Donkey Creek at the weekend I was towing the car behind us and the car is meant to have automatic braking so that the car brakes as well as the motor and uh, I thought that the braking wasn't working as I was going along. So uh, I had my suspicions there was something wrong so what I did is I put a camera inside the car and normally you can hear the brake unit making a noise when the car's braking. So as I was slowing down for roundabouts, the braking unit should have been coming on on the car and I would have heard that noise. I didn't hear that noise. So we got back and I checked the brake lights on the car and the brake lights on the car were all right and the brake lights on the van were all right. So uh, knew it wasn't the actual lights themselves. So there could only really be something wrong with either the uh, the unit in the car that does the braking, the duo sensor unit, and what that does is it detects when the brake lights are applied and when the car's decelerating or slowing down. So two things have to happen for the unit in the car to operate the vacuum, to operate the brakes. You can check the unit's working by pulling out the breakaway plug. And you pull the breakaway plug out and the unit will operate. And I could hear the unit operator so I knew the unit was alright. So I thought well I'd better investigate. So this morning I've just uh, finished uh, filming what I did. So as you can see the brakes brake lights are coming on on the motorhome so I hooked up the car just using the cable and went round the back with the brake lights applied I jammed the brake brake pedal on and lo and behold no brake lights on the car but I know the brake lights on the car are working when you operate the brakes so multimeter out diagram from tower frame and we unplug the unit and we'll check to see what sort of voltages we're getting at the actual towing plug at the back. So uh, tow frame have provided a nice little diagram there and we can check the voltages. And I was getting a voltage there so I knew that was all right. So, so it must be something to do with the plug wiring to the car so I bought a new plug, I actually got it, went out and, well, went to Amazon really, bought a new plug. So I thought, well, what we might as well do is we might as well change the plug. But just before we did that, I plugged the old plug in, put my multimeter leads on the plug to see what was going on, and I was getting a voltage. Go around the back, and lo and behold, the brake lights are working. So something a bit dodgy in that plug, I thought. So I know I've had problems with the plug in pre uh, previous times. Disconnect the battery, of course, and then it's a case of undoing all the wires, all seven of them, and uh, taking them out. There's a real greasy mess in there. By the way, you must always disconnect the battery when you're ever, ever you're doing anything like this. You don't want to short things out. So there's the, there's the wires. They were really greasy, so I needed a good clean up. So just a bit of rag and get the grease off. I don't know if that grease is conductive or not, but either way, it was pretty messy. Anyway, it's a case of putting the wires back on the plug and following the diagram, it's quite easy. You know, it tells you which colors go to which pins. All the pins are numbered, so you can see where, where to put it. But uh, obviously don't do this if you haven't got a diagram to tell you where the wires go we could be in serious trouble yeah so took a little while but eventually get it in put the last uh, few leads in there screw them up I was using a little um, watchmaker type screwdriver so not to over tighten it and I went away came back with a slightly slightly bigger screwdriver just to make sure they're tight but don't over tighten it you can break the wires if you over tighten here just just finger tight you don't want it coming out of course there we are now the fiddly bit is getting the plug in the right alignment 
I knew that the green wire needed to be at the bottom where the notch on the, t on the plug was. So try and get it in the right place. And I had a couple of attempts at this because I think they kept springing out and uh, had to move it round slightly. There are some notches that are supposed to secure it so it doesn't twist round, but you've got to get that green wire down at the bottom by the notch and the yellow wire is at the top. Yeah, so a little bit of faffing around. And I'll close the plug up and then we can start to check that everything's working. So I've plugged it back in and then using my kneeler, sign of old age that is. Brake lights are on on the van. Back into the garage where I reverse the car and there you are. Brake lights working. So now I needed to do a check that indicators and the lights were were working. Go. You're in the garage again. I've got the lights on the van working and the lights and the indicators are working on the car. There is another check you can do on the Smart Duo box and that's the unit that operates the brakes inside the car. So I thought we'd do that and for that I needed an assistant. So Jenny sat in the cab uh, with the engine running, foot on the brake with the unit hooked up to the car and you go inside the car and then you adjust the sensitivity uh, knob on the unit itself. So let me show you that. Right, so slide it towards the more sensitive position until you hear it start working and stop there. And then it says move it back for eighth of an inch. And then lock it. I'll just finish by showing you the very useful guide that Toa Frame do now with the uh, Smart Glide and the other towing frames. And it's actually a little, little useful booklet and it actually has the uh, the pins and their colours at the back of the book which is what I was using but it's also a, a good guide for how to connect and how to disconnect your unit uh, and if you're new to towing uh, with an A-frame then this is an excellent book and it's a really good piece of documentation that Toa Frame have provided. So I think I'll finish it here and if you found this useful give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe. You don't have to hit the notifications uh, icon, but if you do, you get uh, notifications when we release another video. And I say thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye then.